New at four, meeting canceled. Mexico's president is not meeting with President Donald Trump after his insistence the country pay for a wall built on their border. Responding to that, President Trump is now calling for a 20% tax on Mexican imports to pay for the wall. For a closer look at the rest of today's action, here's Weijia Zhang. President Donald Trump laid out his priorities while addressing congressional Republicans at their annual retreat in Philadelphia. The world has taken advantage of us for many years. Not going to happen anymore. Republicans are backing Mr. Trump's plans to repeal Obamacare and cut taxes. But GOP leadership opposed Mr. Trump's idea to reinstate harsh interrogation tactics like waterboarding. Torture is not legal. So, and we agree with it not being legal. Mexico. No pagará ningún muro. Tension is mounting between President Trump and Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto about financing a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. Hours after Mr. Trump tweeted, if Mexico is unwilling to pay for the badly needed wall, then it would be better to cancel the upcoming meeting. Peña Nieto did just that. Thousands of anti-Trump demonstrators filled the city streets to protest actions the president has already taken, including an executive order that allows ICE agents to target undocumented immigrants. I want us to be a nation that is inclusive with arms open, you know, not, not turning our backs on, on our fellow human beings. President Trump is expected to sign another controversial executive order today that temporarily stops the U.S. from accepting refugees until tougher screening is in place. Weijia Jang, CBS News, Philadelphia. Republicans say the price tag to build the wall could be as much as $15 billion. U.S. Border Patrol Chief Mark Morgan, he's off the job. This comes a day after President Trump signed an executive order to start work on a border wall between the U.S. and Mexico. It's not clear if Morgan resigned or was asked to leave. Our national question of the day concerns President Trump's executive order on sanctuary cities. Do you support Donald Trump's proposal to withhold some federal monies from sanctuary cities? So you can vote on our website, that's kboi2.com. Hover over the news tab and you'll see the question of the day. We also have that link on our Facebook page. We will update those poll results at the bottom of the hour. New at four, the doomsday clock 